Chapter 19 Agreement of the verb with the subject Look at these pairs of sentences. Can you tell which is the correct sentence in each pair? Sheep are gazing on the hill. A flock of sheep are gazing on the hill. Flock is singular. R is plural. The cost of these shirts are too high. Cost is singular. R is plural. Either you or I am to blame. Either you or I are to blame. I is the first person singular. R goes with we, they, you, not I. The captain with his sailors was struggling to save the ship. Captain, singular goes with singular was not were. The captain with his sailors was struggling to save the ship. Definition. So we have seen that a verb must agree with its subject in number and person. This is called subject verb agreement. Here are the various rules of subject verb agreement. The verb should be made to agree in number with its proper subject, not with a noun near it, as the mileage of these bikes is not good. The mileage of these bikes are not good. If the subject of a sentence has two or more nouns or pronouns connected by and, we use a plural verb as Ritu and Shruti are playing in the park. If two or more singular nouns or pronouns are connected by or or nor, we use a singular verb as tea or coffee is the staple beverage of most Indians. A singular verb is used with words either, neither, each, everyone and many a as either of these medicines gives you relief from headache. Neither of the excuses is acceptable. Each of these girls is a good athlete. Every one of the seats is occupied. Many a politician has promised to eradicate poverty. A plural verb is used with nouns such as trousers, shears, scissors, tweezers as they are found in two parts. My trousers are wet. Those scissors are sharp. When two subjects are connected by as well as along with, with, then the verb agrees with the first subject. The cow as well as its calves is grazing in the meadow. The parents along with the son are waiting outside the school gate. Some nouns which are plural in form but singular in meaning take a singular verb as the news is true. Physics is his favorite subject. When the plural noun is a proper name for some singular object, it takes a singular verb as Jatak Tales is a book about Buddha's life. Gulliver's Travels was written by Jonathan Swift. When the subjects joined by or slash nor belong to different numbers, the verb agrees with the subject nearest to it. Neither the minister nor his aides were available for comment. When the subjects joined by or slash nor are of different persons, the verb must agree with the nearer as either he or I am wrong. Either you or he is wrong. When a plural noun denotes some specific quantity or amount considered as a whole, the verb must be singular as 50 kilometers is a long journey on foot. 20 minutes was allowed to each contestant to solve the puzzle. 80,000 rupees is a large amount of money. In sentences beginning with here or there, the true subject follows the verb as there is a high mountain to climb. There are many hurdles to cross. Here are the papers you requested.